Okay, this is an ATLS um, tutorial. Here we have a stop sign, and I'm going to um, I'm going to program the um, this intersection so that cars actually stop at it. It's actually a very tricky thing to do with this game. Okay, first thing I need is an ATLS controller. Put that right there. Now I use the um, properties button. Click on it. Set a channel for it. It's automatically channel 2 because I already have another controller controlling something else. Now I set up two routes with two phases. Hmm, I forget what I do after this. I think it's, um, I think I do this and then phase 1 is going to be, okay, that's route 1. Route 1 is going to be the one that controls the cars that stop at the stop sign. So that one is only going to be green for 5 seconds at a time. And Route 2 is going to be... Route 2 doesn't really control anything. So I'll put that at 5 seconds as well. Uh, I don't really think this is necessary. But I guess I'll put that on 5. Okay. Now I'm getting an NRC traffic um, traffic stopper. Where where the mouse go? I hate when it does that. Okay, I'm gonna put the traffic stopper here, and of course rotate it so that it um, is facing the road. Okay, I need to delete a section of road to attach these together. Now I have to attach this here. Okay, now I have a little bit a little problem. I'm gonna fix that later though. First, uh, first thing I have to do is move the road up a little bit. Okay, move it to where it was attached to the original road, and now connect this road. Now I have to lift it up a little bit because it's too low to the ground now. The road looks okay now. Now I'm just going to work on the um, the traffic slave. This is what is needed to control the traffic stopper to get the cars to stop. It took me forever to figure that out though. I spent several days trying to figure out how to program the traffic stopper. But as it turns out, it doesn't get programmed at all. What happens is you connect this to that with an invisible track and this is like this blue thing is like an invisible train and it randomly and and it it reads the controller and appears on the track at certain intervals to control this as a railroad crossing and get it to stop the cars that's apparently how it works so I'm going to get an invisible track attach this to the traffic stopper and since Route 1 is the one that's going to be controlling the traffic, I'm going to put this on channel 2, the same channel as this controller, and set it up for Route 1. Okay, I think that's all. Now I'm going to see if it works. Okay, now I'm in driver, testing the stop sign to see if it works. Okay, the car is stopping at the stop sign. and now it's going. The obvious problem with this method is the cars can't tell the cars can't tell when there's another car going on the other road so they can't really understand um, when it's safe to go and that's another problem because this isn't a conventional intersection it's also stopping cars going that way. It works on regular four-way intersections though. And that car is stopping because there's something wrong with the road.
That usually takes a long time to reset itself. Yeah. Here's another problem with this type of intersection. I could fix that by, put, by putting a traffic stopper on this side of the intersection as well, but that doesn't really make sense because this side doesn't even doesn't have a stop sign. This car still won't go and this one either because there's something wrong with the road that it's driving on. Something wrong with the scripting or something. That glitch has always been in this game. And now cards are stuck back there too because of the same glitch.